I said, this seems like a really important thing. I, I just want to see, I want I would like to get an audition that has maybe two or three episodes, you know, like it with a character, small character arc. Right. And uh, he sends me this thing. I was excited. I read it, and it's Johnny Sack. <laughs> I'm like, the New York boss. I'm like, wait a minute. It says John Gotti type. Yeah. He had long hair. You know, he was 34. <laughs> John Gotti was like in his 50s. And uh, I was like, man, I said, Bob, I said, this is not me. Yeah. This is like, I mean, look, I mean, I, I can audition for this. I, it's always good to audition. But, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see myself. He goes, well, listen, I sent your picture in and, and your resume. They want to see you. I auditioned, got a quick call back, and nothing. Crickets. When I saw who they got, it was Vince Curatola. Mm -hmm. That guy played that role brilliant. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, he was, I said, that's who I would have cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, definitely. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, now, when you ended up getting the role mm -hmm. of, of Furio, and like you said, we grew up with these guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? So, so I'm saying to myself, I go, did it bring back memories to you, you know, as a kid where, of you know, did, where, did yeah. you ever, you know, go back and, you know, talk to talk to the guys in the neighborhood I did, just actually. to get some pointers? No, hey, no, no, no. I doing actually, it right? no, I went back. No, the reason why I went back to, to my old neighborhood uh, in 20, on 21st Avenue in Patterson is because I wanted to listen to, these guys were from Naples, you know, mm -hmm. they were from Avellino and Naples, mm -hmm. so that's a very specific accent. Yeah. So I was born in Napoli, my father had that accent, so I would listen to certain words that he said, then I, I went back specifically to listen to the guys that were from Naples, mm -hmm. and the way they spoke Italian. And, you know, the inflections were different, and some of the, the words were different than someone, let's say, from Montescaglioso. Mm -hmm. Or from Sicily. Or, or from Sicily, yeah. yep. you know. So, uh, you know, like, for example, my father would always say, uh, you know, when I would say beautiful, the word beautiful on, on as Furio, my father always said, beautiful, you know, <laughs> beautiful, you know, so he would always extend that. Yeah. So that's what I brought in. So there's little little nuances right, that I worked on when I was working on the uh, the accent for Furio. And let me tell you, it was an amazing accent. Yeah, that was a good accent. Right, that was spot on. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Spot yeah. on. Spot Have, who, besides, uh, I know James Gandolfini was from North Jersey, from Bergen, uh, Bergen County. Yeah. Who else was from North Jersey? Was anyone else? Vince Curatola was. Okay. Uh, his family was uh, in construction. Um, yeah, there were there were several people actually. Uh, Ginny Sack, I think she was from Jersey as okay. well. Uh, you know, and uh, let's see. There must be several other people that uh, that were from Jersey at the time. Is David Chase from Jersey or not? He is. He is, yeah, right? He, yeah, I yeah. think he was from Newark. Okay. Yeah, 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 I believe so. I believe David was, uh, you know, from, from Newark. That's probably what made That's the show. Where, yeah, yeah, and that the Vesuvio was actually an actual restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was oh, an right. actual mm -hmm. restaurant that was in Newark and burned down and stuff. And so a lot of, a lot of you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, realism from, you know, from yeah. in their writing. You know? Right. The writing is deep too. Like I was watching, like uh, I was watching a scene. Um, it was between um, James Gandolfini and Dominic um, Canese, and they were just sitting on the couch and they were just talking. And it was I was watching it on TikTok, and uh, and like you read the comments and people recognize like the writing was deep. Like just the yeah. conversation, yes. like that is like you know you have to, not that you have to have an eye for it, but it's like wow, like <laughs> you know like that was some deep writing. It's not just you know yeah. on the surface. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, so. no, they they did an uh, amazing job with the with the Sopranos, the writing, the actors, yeah, you yeah. Know, and, uh, location, and location. Yeah, and David all Chase that. brought in some really wonderful actors, and I mean, uh, 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 actors, but also writers. Yeah. And they became you know producers on the uh, on the show. Um, uh, Robin Green and Mitchell Burgess were uh, two great writers that uh, that went on to to do other things as well, like Blue Bloods and stuff. Uh, <laughs>